Hello, Rob from Fountain Pen Journey with a paper review today. And this is, quite honestly, the most affordable, fountain pen friendly, ink friendly, <laughs> ink shimmer sheening shading properties friendly, cheap paper that I have found, which is so great for using with fountain pens. It's available from Amazon really cheaply it comes in these a4 pads now this is you know this is what it this is this is what you get basically you know it's a pad of a4 paper loose leaf you know not loose leaf you tear it off and it tears off really well so this is the cambridge legal pad now what you need to search for and i will put the um link in the description to the amazon listing of this uh of this paper down below in the description of this this video so this is the cambridge lined li lined what amazon call it is basically cambridge lined paper a4 refill pad 100 pages yellow and as you can see you know it's 100 pages legal pad and that's what it is nothing more exciting about it it is a yellow paper so it's not creamy. I mean, I must admit, under this uh, this light. Let me just try and change the lighting. No, I've turned on the light. That's not made any difference whatsoever. It is yellow-ish. It's not a bright yellow, but it's not cream by any stretch of the imagination. This is quite a yellow uh, paper. It's good quality. Um, it's thick enough. It's very, very smooth. Very smooth, very nice, not hugely absorbent. And this is where I'm going to talk about some different nib widths on this paper, along with some shimmering inks and some inks with nice properties, like shading and that type of thing. So I'll do some writing on the uh, on this paper to show you just how good it is. But let's talk about price, because that is the deciding factor for many people. If you're after some lined A4 paper that comes in a pad like this pack of five of these 100 page refill pads pack of five from Amazon £9.49 £9.49 for really good quality fountain pen friendly paper which isn't something like Tomoe River, Clairefontaine, Rodeo, whatever brand you particularly like or navigate towards Cambridge Legal Pad, A4. If you want something where you can just jot down some notes on A4 paper, it's lined, it's margined, not hole punched, but that's not an issue. You know, I, I have hole punches, two and four hole punches, and it doesn't bother me if I uh, need to put these into a file. But it's really great for fountain pens. So, let me uh, show you how great it is now. I have got here my Noodler's Ahab containment system because these pens are horrific leakers. Well, they burp more than anything. So let's start off with this one. This is the Noodler's Ahab Tiger colour. Not chatoyant at all, it's just swirled vegetal resin pink and black, peachy pink and black, which I actually quite like. And I've loaded this thing up. Let's just get that off and give the uh, section a wipe because the Noodler's Ahab has a horrible habit. Ne tip number one, if you have a Noodler's Ahab anywhere, always carry a Kleenex with you. You'll need it. <laughs> so let's uh, let's do some writing with this, uh, with this flex nib pen and this shimmer ink which I have in here and you'll see oh, there we go it's burping already let's just dab that up okay so this ink is a diamine shimmer ink it's called diamine shimmertastic Now, 
Oops, shimmer-tastic. Frosted Orchid. I'm going to just zoom in a little bit. So you can... Whoa, too much. So you can see what's going on a bit better. I like these flex noodlers I have names because to me they actually make every good everyday carry, everyday writer fencing pens for your desk. Because let's face it, there's always ink spraying out of these from some uh, some hidden orifice of these uh, fountain pens. So let's just lay down a whole load of ink here. I'll come back to this when it's dried. I do find that the dry times on this uh, Cambridge legal pad are actually really quite good. Um, I've got no complaints with it. It's not like certain uh, fountain pen friendly papers which just take forever and a day to uh, to dry. So the next ink in the uh, Noodler's Ahab, a different Ahab, this is the uh, Noodler's Ahab Midas Pearl, which is a, um, I'd say it's, it's like a brown with a bit of silver grey metallic vegetal resin. I quite like that. Looks quite, uh, quite 50s to me. Anyway, we'll come back to all of these inks in greater detail in... A few minutes. I just remembered I didn't wipe the section down. I can feel the wet ink on my fingertips. Let's just give this a wipe because that's just going to annoy me so much. If I start spreading ink from place to place. Right, there we go. I'm giving that a wipe. So Midas Pearl, and this ink is another Diamine ink, Diamine Shimmertastic ink. Oh, Coco, OA, Coco Shimmer. So that's that one. These inks will take a little while to uh, to dry, so I'm not going to uh, hang about and just crack on with the writing before we uh, go back to looking at these three inks in uh, greater detail. This is the um, next pen is the Noodler's Ahab in Mandarin Yellow, which is just a solid yellow coloured pen, which has still managed to get ink on it somehow. And I shall just give this a section a wipe too. It's messy, messy pens. Dirty pens. So this ink strangely enough is actually also a shimmering ink from Diamine but this is actually uh, uh, produced by Diamine for Pure Pens here in the UK and this is Pure Pens Welsh Gold which I love I think it's a fantastic ink
Now, for those of you who know exactly how the Noodle is Ahab can write, when you flex lots of ink out of this pen, um, you will be aware of the fact that this nib has a tendency to lay down great big pools of ink. Let's stick this out of the way. Back in your box. There you go. And you can get some awful bleed through, pooling of ink, show through onto the op other side of the page, um, along with ridiculous dry times. Like, I mean, I, I have literally spent 45 minutes with a medium nib on some papers with certain um, medium nib, with, with one of the Ahab nibs on some papers, 45 minutes later, come back and the ink's still wet. Even sometimes overnight, depending on the ink and depending on the paper and the atmospheric conditions. It's quite a humid day here. I mean, I'm looking at the temperature in front of me here is 20.5 degrees C and it's 58% relative humidity. So it's not hugely humid, though it is a very cloudy day and we have had a fair bit of rain this morning. So, you know, dry times aren't going to be Great, but as you can see, these inks have the. I'm not convinced that the cocoa shimmer has dried yet, or the uh, Welsh gold, but certainly I'd say definitely the um, diamine shimmertastic frosted orchid has dried. And you can see that this, I mean, this isn't even fantastic lighting, but you can see just how much shimmer there is and this welsh gold when that dries that will look absolutely lovely have a look on the other side we have had a bit of bleed through where i was getting as much out of the um noodle as ahab nibs as i could laying down the ink there is some show through there is some show through, but then again, you get that pretty much with everything, and unless you're using an extra fine nib, um, you know, it, it, it's always a risk. But I mean, you see where that blob of ink landed, you know, there's no show through. It's puckered up the paper a bit because of the wetness, but there's no show through. It's only where I've been really trying to flex ink out of the nib there where it's actually come through. So... If it survives the Noodle is Ahab nib test, it's going to survive pretty much anything. So let's have a look at how this paper performs with... Let's have a look at this one. Lamy All-Star Tourmaline. And this ink is the special edition ink from Lamy for 2020. Lamy Tourmaline. This is a medium nib, not a flex nib, so, you know, let's just lay down a patch of ink here. So I'm not using any pressure, I'm just using my typical scribble there, put some lines in, and a few of those. I want to also just see, out of interest, if I lay down a big heavy patch of ink, what happens to that? So we'll come back to that shortly, because I have found that this Lamy Tourmaline ink is a lovely colour, nice teal colour, um, but on some papers, when you lay it down really heavily, it's got a red sheen to it, which is quite nice. I mean, as for... let's have a look at... oh, this is a good shading ink in this Namisu Nova. I mean ancient copper. Love this ink. Very nice copper coloured ink. Which I know that this is a fine nib, so it's not going to be as pronounced. You can get a little bit of line variation and flex a little bit out of this fine nib, bock steel nib.
So let's see how that does in a little while. Let's pick something which is going to be quite ah. Let's have a look. I'm sure I'll be able to find one of my pens over here, which is going to be yes, no. This one. Okay, Pen BBS 308 Manjusaka. And this is Diamine Scarlet. There we go, we can see. Let's zoom in a little bit. see that there is see if we can really zoom in so you can see the shading well wow, shaky shaky so yeah good shading on this paper though I must admit the yellow background does mask it a little bit and you have to um, have to remember that this is you know it's not it's not designed for fountain pens this uh, Cambridge legal pad but zoom back in whoa stop there we go so it isn't designed particularly for fountain pens but it performs exceptionally well and Let's have a look, see what's happened on the reverse side of this paper now. So, yeah, we've got the nood the three Noodler's ink patches up there, but absolutely nothing else with ordinary nibs, apart from perhaps a little bit of show through with the Lamy Tourmaline where I lay that down. Yeah, there is a tiny amount of bleed through there. So let's go and have a look at these inks now that the Shimmertastic have dried. And quite honestly, you know, there aren't many fountain pen friendly papers this cheap which any of these sort of shimmer inks are going to show on because if you use an absorbent paper, it so the fibres of the paper absorb the ink, they soak in the shimmer particles and trap them, hide them from view, whereas this nice smooth Cambridge um, lined paper, this legal pad, well, I'll let it speak for itself. Frosted orchid, shimmering and shining. And this isn't even a bright day, it's a cloudy day. I'm using natural daylight here. The Diamine Shimmertastic Cocoa Shimmer. Yeah, plenty of shimmer there. I'd say lots and lots of shimmer. The uh, Pure Pens Welsh Gold ink, which is black with this gold shimmer, really, really excellent. Very, very nice. I mean, you could quite easily use this as a everyday ink on this paper, and then you get this gold shimmer. The Limey Tourmaline, unfortunately, hasn't developed any of its red sheen which is a bit of a shame. I was hoping to see that on this paper, but that just didn't happen. You can see down here the rather impressive shading. Use my less inkly stained finger. Rather impressive shading here from the Diamine Ancient Copper. Really, really good shading. And it's shading is one of these things that, you know, it's characteristic of fountain pen writing and it's an important part of it for many of uh, many of us who uh, enjoy fountain pens and fountain pen inks and i often get disappointed when i write with a pen which has you know a pen and ink which have good shading and as you're writing with it you can see the shade and you think oh this is going to look lovely and then within seconds the ink has dried and the shading if you're lucky is just about perceptible but here we go i mean yeah we can see Good shading on here with this diamine scarlet ink down here. Very, very good shading too. 
So, it's not often that I do paper reviews because paper is, if you like, the least interesting aspect of the fountain pen hobby. But at the end of the day, what do you write on? We like pens, we like inks, we have to write on paper. And I know you can pick out Tomoe River, Clairefontaine, Rhodia, pick whatever brand you like or type of paper you like, but sometimes we like using cheap paper. I mean, I, I've, I've got this notepad that came from work. You know, I've, I've been using that in the home office um, while I've been off work and working from home. But at the end of the day, you know, you pick up whatever paper there is. I mean, I've got a whole selection of pens to pick up and a lot of inks to choose from, but sometimes you just want to write down something decent with fountain pen friendly paper, which has decent dry times, is smooth, is reliable, and is dirt cheap. I mean, £9.49 for a pack of five of these Cambridge A4 legal pads. And I actually quite like the yellow colour. I think it makes a change from just plain white paper. It's not as bright, it's not as harsh on the eyes when you're trying to read it. You know, if you get a black ink, you know, you can have that contrast, which can be, if you're reading outside, if you're reading handwritten notes outside in full sun, you know, it's, it's blinding, it's awful. So this yellow does help tone things down a bit, a bit like putting the yellow um, screen filter on your smartphone in the uh, evenings before you go to bed so that you're not getting all that blue light emission. You're not getting the harsh white background. So I quite like the yellow colour. And I especially like the, pr the price because this paper performs so well. I mean, Noodler's Ahab's laid down stupid amounts of ink and on cheap quality fountain, uh, on cheap quality paper, when you're doing the uh, scribbles up here, I mean, for a start, the flex nib, because they're not particularly flexible, they're not soft, uh, that would have probably started to shred the paper anyway, um, as it got wet, and made a right old mess, but, you know, there's very, very little bleed through relatively there, so... You can see how good this paper is. And it's cheap. Did I mention it's cheap? I, mean, I think I did. <laughs> so thank you very much for watching. I'm not going to do many paper reviews. So I hope you did find that this was useful. And a little bit different to the usual um, pen reviews and pen talks that I talk about on my Fountain Pen Journey channel. Um, so there you go. Cambridge lined paper A4 refill pads. £9.49, pack of five from Amazon, 100 pages. Don't even know what weight it is, but it's, it's, it's good quality. It's good quality paper, very smooth, very reliable. And you can't complain for the price. So thanks very much for watching, and I shall see you next time. Bye.